David, re remind us of your claim. Uh, well, this is Duncan, and he insisted that I borrow his trainers so that I could take part in the in the dad's race at the school sports day. How did you go to sports day without suitable footwear? Uh, well, I had... You sound just like his wife. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I had the footwear that I considered suitable for what I wanted to do. Which, which was? Which was not join in with any of the... <laughs> I was going to go, I was going to eat sandwiches, I was going to make awkward conversation with other parents, and I was going to leave as early as I politely could. <laughs> so how did it all start to go wrong, then? Well, there were... Th it turns out there were two dads' races, mm -hmm. one for the parents in a couple of years, uh, the, the two... the year above the year above my daughter and the year above that. Right. So say two years above or three years yeah, above. Yeah, so two, two years above <laughs> and, and three years above. You're right. Are you having a breakdown, David? Said it. Can you only count in once <laughs> at the moment? A year, then another year, and then another year again. I was going to ask you how, how long the race was, but I know yeah. what you're going with. It was one metre, then it was another metre, <laughs> another metre, then it was another metre. <laughs> what size feet are you? Uh, eight. Eight? Mm. Why didn't you borrow your child's shoes? <laughs> I'm insinuating your feet are too small, David. <laughs> yes. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> You're also insinuating you gave me that, that look my six-year-old <laughs> child has enormous feet. <laughs> <laughs> You've insulted us both. <laughs> Was Duncan's child in the same year as your, as your child? No. So Did that's you why just... he had spare shoes. So yeah. what made him force you to wear his shoes? Well, because I unwisely said, when, when people were saying, oh, join in with the race, go on, go on, I said, oh, I'd like to, but I'm not wearing the right shoes and I've got a bad back. But I regret that bitterly. No. <laughs> I wish I'd just gone with, I don't want to and I will not. <laughs> were his shoes too big or too small for you? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we need an answer. So, Lee's mm. team, is Duncan... Lawrence's changing rooms chum, Ellie's helpful handyman, or David's shoe sharer. So, I just don't think that she would get a handyman round to fix a dented washing well, there's, machine. Well, there's one big error she's made what? that no one picked up on. She said she was renting. You don't. <laughs> That's not it. <laughs> <laughs> if you are renting and your washing machine goes, you phone the landlord. Yeah. Oh, and you did say you sure. Oh, very oh, good. Nice. You don't phone, you don't yeah. do your own. But I'm really good friends with my landlord. So... Even more reason you should phone him. <laughs> <laughs> he trusts me. He's got the same name as you, actually. Are you my... You could be him. I'm not your landlord. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Lee, when I rented, I wouldn't dare call my landlord. Yeah, but she, she, she gets on well with Lee. Sounds like <laughs> a lovely It's David. <laughs> it's David. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> you thought I was David and that's Lee. <laughs> yeah. Now, what about Lawrence? I'm with the kids on TikTok, right? And loads of changing room problems are on TikTok, shaming everyone on that show. <laughs> and I reckon a story like that would have come up. So is, is TikTok, as it were, investigating historical yeah. changing rooms yeah. of beauty. Yeah. They sort of got the We're all very cases. concerned yeah. about it. Yeah. yeah. I feel like Duncan could have lent him some trainers. Cos David seems like... He, I really believe that he didn't want to play... Oh, no I believe part that. Yes. ..in sports day. No. I think I'm going to go with David, mate. And what about yeah. you, Jade? David. I, I am tempted with David. And it's not often I say that, yeah. <laughs> Are you going to say David? Yeah. OK. Duncan, would you please reveal your true identity? I'm Duncan, and I help Lawrence design a disgusting bedroom. <laughs> well done. Yes, Duncan is Lawrence's changing room chum. And, interestingly, we've got photographic evidence. Here is the room before the beautiful work was done. Here's it after the magic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much, Duncan.